Hello, Hounds. Did you hear the story of the two blokes who hadn't met for an awful long time? They were both at Sandhurst together. And when they did eventually meet, one of them by this time was in the guards. He had one of those short crisp moustaches that they have in the guards. And he said to his uh, friend, where have you been all my life? And things like that that they say in the guards. And the other bloke said, well, as a matter of fact, I sort of trickled into the Manchesters. So the guardsman said, what a pity, because all the best people are in the guards, of course. And also it's so sharp and precise with us. I mean, when the sergeant major says, eyes right, all the eyes go round with a click, just like one man, you know. It's the way we have in the guards. And then when the sergeant major says, quick march, they all go scrunch, 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 just like one man again. Such a pity you went so far north. And the Manchester man said, well, as a matter of fact, you know, it's something like that with us, because when the sergeant major says, eyes right, all the eyes go round with a click, just like one man, rather like they do with you, really. And when the sergeant major says, quick march, they go scrunch, 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 tinkle, 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 tinkle. But the guardsman said, tinkle, 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 tinkle. What's that for then? So the Manchester man said, well, as a matter of fact, those round medals. <laughs> and now a song all about the very best people at Broadcasting House. It's called We're Frightfully BBC. We are perfectly pucker. We represent town. Sent up to Maudlin and later sent down. Fellows of standing with people with crests. We've just had our colours tattooed on our chests. Rhubarb, tomato and rhubarb. We're really too utterly utter. As bored as two blighters could be. We always step over the gutter and carry a racket or sheep. We hear J.H. Thomas, we like the old horse. Oh, yes. But call him J. Thomas with pangs of remorse. Because we know that the H is silent, of course. We, we are, are frightfully BBC. Go, oh, James, and don't spare the H's. Yes. We are really too Park Lane and Puna too fond of our Frinton on sea. Oh, we never sing my kids a crooner, whatever a crooner might be. We dote on the sunshine, we love every shower. We are mad on the bee that's improving the hour. And we still think a pansy is a kind of a flower. We're we are frightfully BBC. There are fairies at the bottom of our garden. Connected with county and landed estates. We never cross cutlery over our plates. We crawl to the city, perhaps Mincing Lane, then potter to luncheon and crawl home again. It's all so tired making. We're really too rugger and soccer, too manfully quick off the tee. We pile all our togs in a locker. Our sweaters have quite a low V. We know the announcers and Greenwich Pipips. All of them. We simply adore the gale warnings to ships. We never shake vinegar over our chips. We're frightfully BBC. Hardly the place for that. Broadcasting house we admire more and more. We are terribly keen on the well-polished floor. And even the statue that's over the door. We're frightfully BBC. Of course, we still think it's upside down. We do lots of hunting when business allows. Desperately. Good judges of hoggets and shirlings and sows. We know all the prices of all the fat cows. We are frightfully BBC. Happy landing. I say, chap, so it was a very funny story about the, uh, the, the bloke who went out big game hunting. He was after the big stuff, you know, and he was right out in the um, pampas grass and um, then um, right through the jungle, the very thick part of the jungle he was in, you know, dense part, and um, just he was coming at the top, you remember the, uh, the, the jungle, just by that little wicked gate, uh, he came out into a clearing, you see, and uh, in front of him uh, was a very big lake. And um, he had to get round to the other side of this lake because his quarry um, uh, had gone round the other side, you see, and got his gun with him and everything. So he went round left-hand side, thinking he'd, um, he'd go that way, of course, and uh, he met uh, a covey of tigers <laughs> lolling about, really. So um, he thought he wouldn't go that way, perhaps. So he decided to go round the right-hand side of the lake, and uh, just 
Yes, <laughs> roughly round there. He saw a school of uh, lions sort of basking, and uh, so he thought perhaps he wouldn't go that way either. So he decided the only thing to do, of course, was to jump the lake. So he took a long run, and he was halfway across, and he looked down, and um, <laughs> there was a hippopotamus sort of staring him in the face. So, of course, you know, he'd been uh, eaten for certain, only he had the presence of mind to turn back. <laughs> As I was. And now a song all about Pakasals and crooked men in straight settlements. A word, you ancient Britishers, a word allow us, please, about our island story and the flag that's in the breeze. A song of our inheritance of folks who follow through and carry on and blaze the trail and wave their torches to. Let's talk about our history of all our gallant knights. Crusaders in tin trousers who stood up for their rights, as the BBC say, dear Amon Droitwich. Thank heaven we have Britons out in Burma in the bars, keeping, keeping up the old traditions. traditions. And dear old Marx and Spencer sitting in the old bazaars, keeping up the old traditions. All along the south of France, the seas as blue as ink, and Mrs. Baldwin's bathing there and feeling in the pink. While poor old Stanley stays at home and splashes in the sink, keeping up the old traditions. Sink, transit, Gloria, plug hole. There are Parsees passing betting slips beside the Shalimar, keeping, keeping up, up the old traditions. And Mademoiselle from Armentiers has been out to the Saar, keeping, keeping up, up the old, old traditions. traditions. Gladys Cooper wears a very modern underset, and all the moderns have their little nighties made of net. But Lady Snowden says she's going to stick to flannelette, keeping, keeping up the old tradition. Well, there's a wall, there's a way, I suppose. Uh, a truce to modern pastime, so easy to play well. Let's go and down the nine pins and up with nerd and spell. A murrain on your crooning, away with Bobadoo. Old England may turn turtle and we'll all be in the soup. We want another Cromwell, another Robin Hood. To tell the workhouse master all about his Christmas pud. Half the casuals. The latest flats in Tennessee have roses round the door. Keep me up the old tradition. Mr. Drage is laying lino down the Polish corridor. Keep me up the old tradition. When she sees a nudist, Lady Oxford always grieves. She lives beside a colony of Adams and Eves. And she has to eat big pudding just to send them round the leaves. Keeping up the old traditions. Not this side, please. In the commons, Horbalisha was looking very blue. He said, I want a knighthood. They said, what did you do? And he simply shouted beacons, and they said the same to you. Keeping up the old traditions. That'll be all.